Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be talking about why you should care about Shopify apps and why you should be building them right now as a developer. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that we're going to say is that this is part of the master Shopify apps course. Okay, this whole intro, this whole video that you're going to be watching. Yes, it's part of the course, but we're going to give you so much information so you guys could get started and you could decide if you want to come in and take the course or not, or you want to learn it on your own. I don't care what I want you guys is to start thinking about Shopify applications. All right. So let's get started. The first thing that I want to say is why Shopify apps. Okay. 1.75 million merchants are using Shopify. Okay. So that's a lot of stores, right? There's a lot of people that are actually using Shopify and every year it keeps growing. Okay. Every single year. There's a reason why the stocks is going up. Okay. You go into Shopify and search stocks and here you go you can see that there's actually been some crazy growth over the years when it comes to shopify and it's because more people are shopping online okay and then not only that that more people are actually taking the risk to start selling products online because you got drop shipping you got a fulfillment you have people who are creating their own brands right so all of this means that more people are in Shopify and us developers can actually go and serve them by creating applications for them. Okay. So now going back to over here, right? Again, 20% of all e-commerce stores are running on Shopify. That's all over the internet. Now what's cool about Shopify apps is that you can build them with any language, Ruby, JavaScript, PHP, Java, Python, whatever you are into. Okay. But there's a reason right there's a reason why you can build them with all of them and this is where it goes to the next question what exactly are shopify apps well basically shopify apps are pretty much full stack applications that communicate with shopify's service and you can have them as embedded applications within the platform of shopify or you could just basically redirect the user to your own website or your own web application right it pretty much works like this right a merchant pretty much a store owner comes in signs up to Shopify they sign up for their service and they have access to all of the features that Shopify has now let's say that user comes in and says well I would like to have I don't know a page where I can schedule my customers right so think of this as a yoga studio where they sell t-shirts and sell you know the yoga pants but then they also want to go in and schedule people for one-on-one -on -one sessions to do like you know yoga classes and things like that right shopify is not prepared to do that shopify does not handle that right shopify what they do is they'll help you sell a product but they're not going to help you go in and schedule you know <laughs> a session with you know 20 students so this is where the developers come in okay developers come in and create extra features for their shopify stores now this right here is an application in a completely different server but because we're using Shopify and we're using the APIs of Shopify, we are able to embed our application within Shopify as if it was a application that was native to the company. But in reality, it's really just another company separate, right? It's like a third party service that's providing service within Shopify. Okay. So a customer comes in, signs up, says, Hey, I'm going to buy a product, I buy a t-shirt. Oh shoot. It also says that we could schedule a yoga class. So once they go in, they set up the yoga class that goes through the application. Everything is handled in here in this application, as far as like the scheduling, you know, handling the data, right. As far as like the database or, you know, uh, the emails, you know, when does the user come in or, or the customer, etc., Right. And then now the merchant can go in into the app and see all of that information as far as like the scheduling and everything that has to do with that app. Okay. Now this, again, this is a full stack application. This thing could have been built in Node.js, Python, Ruby, PHP, whatever. It doesn't matter. So for us as developers, this opens up the door for us like crazy, because now we have a place where people are looking for services and we can go in and put our applications in a store that gets traffic. It's like, imagine this, we come in and we say, we want to set up a business and we set up that business in the middle of the desert. Nobody knows that that store is there. Nobody knows that that business is there, 
But if you take that business and you put it right in the middle of the mall, right? You know what happens? There's foot traffic. People come in and they look at, oh, what do they do here? Hey, what do you guys sell here? Et cetera, right? So think of that as our applications. Now we're creating this software as a service, but within the platform of Shopify. Now you could also go in and create the same application for multiple services. There's a lot of services out there, just like Shopify, that allow you to come in and basically connect your application to them. But again, this is one place that we could go in and start delivering our services for like Shopify. Okay. So again, this is a great opportunity for all of us, not just you, but me and everybody else who is a developer. Okay. So what will you learn in this course that we are talking about as far as like Shopify? I mean, you can learn JavaScript, full stack development, GraphQL, React, MySQL, Polaris. I mean, that's like the technical stuff that we're going to go into, but you're actually going to be building a real Shopify app, right? So let me give you guys an example of a Shopify app that we have right here. Okay. This is the Shopify app store, just like the iOS store, just uh, like the Google play store. You have a Shopify app store and let's say we have a FAQ, right? If you guys don't know what a FAQ is, is one of those sections where a user can go in and look at the most uh, common questions that people ask, right? A lot of stores want to have something like this and their themes do not provide this. So we are going to be doing this for them in this application. And as you can see, you know, there's a lot of different uh, apps that have been creating this service, you know, FAQ accordions, uh, easy slide accordion tabs and FAQ or uh, free product FAQ, FAQ page. The reason why they're doing this and all of these different applications are doing the same thing is because people want it. Right. And sometimes people want to have a better experience. Sometimes people uh, don't like the way how one app works. Sometimes one app might have some bugs, etc. So we are actually going to be building this type of application. So it's a real application that's already on Shopify, basically a real Shopify app idea that's already working. And we're going to teach you guys how to build this from the ground up. Okay. We're going to go over the basics and then from there, we're going to have this major project showing you guys how to work with the database, how to work with Shopify, how to keep track of the users, right? How to have multiple different types of, uh, accordions. Okay. So this is things that you can actually see. And then once you start building this application, you could come up with ideas and you can say, oh, shoot, I could actually come up with my own image slider. Oh, shoot, I could come up with my own scheduling application. Oh, shoot, I could come up with my own upsell application, right? So this course is really for making sure that you guys come in, understand what Shopify is, learn how to do it, right? And also to do it with Node.js for those of you guys that is interested in you know, staying in that world of JavaScript, you're definitely going to have a lot of fun in this. Okay. So again, another thing that we're going to be doing in this course is doing the research for your application, showing you guys how to do research, how to actually find ideas that can actually work. Okay. Um, also too, we're going to talk about marketing your application because there's no point of us creating an application and then nobody ever sees it. You have to market your application. You could build it and you could put it up online, but if nobody knows exists, it's basically a dud. All right. So how do I make income? Well, very simple subscription, right? This a uh, subscription model where you could do this on a monthly yearly, right? You could do single payment. You could do usage. So let's say you come up with an application where you're sending text messages and then basically you could charge per text message or you could say, I want to charge for something, a simple, I don't know, a simple pop-up and you could charge $20 for that simple pop-up. Or you could say, Hey, I'm providing an analytics tool. And if you want to get access to the analytics tool every single month or every single year, you got to pay for the subscription. So this is how it works. Okay. There's a lot of different ways that you can make money with Shopify apps. Now, what if my app doesn't take off as quickly as I need it? What if it's a dud? What if I just can't get it to work? I can't really get it out there. I can't make it popular, right? 
the job market is booming. Okay. This is the beauty of it. The things that you're going to learn in this course and the things that you're going to learn just building Shopify applications, they're just going to reinforce everything that you already know and things that you didn't know. It's going to just introduce you to a lot of things of how the web works. Okay. So again, if we look over here on indeed.com, we could see from top to bottom everywhere they're hiring every state new york e-commerce web developer digital agency shopify tech lead ninety thousand a year e-commerce web developer shopify developer expert fort myers florida okay uh shopify developer okay another one full stack developer with shopify plus experience shopify web development project management okay shopify plus developer uh shopify front-end developer shopify freelance developer shopify developer strong react node and php skills wanted this is what you're gonna get in this course okay this is the things that people are hiring for um but at the same time it's like yes you're building apps to make money right but at the same time it's like sure like on worst case scenario like you could find a job we're still gonna pay you pretty good until you get your apps um you know up and running and get it to the level that you want it all right so again this is a great course now the same skills that we're using is the same thing that you can apply to front-end developer react developer node developer full stack developer right i'm not going to show you guys all of those different job listings here you can go ahead and do your own googles you could go to indeed.com put title colon and then just put in a uh, react developer node developer right full stack developer and a list of jobs is going to come up there's over 30,000 jobs in the United States just for Node.js developer, React developer. If you start aggregating all of them together, there's over 30,000 uh, 30, jobs that's out there. Okay. So, and that's on a monthly basis. New jobs keep popping up. There's not enough people to fill them. All right. Now, uh, again, I do want to point this out that you got to have the skills. This is not just something that you be like, well, I want to have the skills and I want to do this, but you got to have the skills. You got to actually build things. You got to learn the skills. Okay. And that's how you're going to get the jobs. I don't want to come in and sell you guys a dream and be like, oh, this is so easy. No, you actually need to be able to build things that people give you. If a company hires you for a service, you need to be able to do this right now. Again, the average developer that I've been seeing for the past two, three years since I've been in the world of Shopify development, right, is $10,000 a month. That's more than enough for people to live comfortably. Now, of course, you can go in and even make millions of dollars with Shopify. Now, just from here, a quick example, shout out to Axel Hardy. It says, that's it, 10K monthly recurring revenue. It was very optimistic goal to reach by the end of 2021. For sure, the 20% commission remove helps a lot, but still, it's incredible. I started my Shopify journey in April 2020. After eight years as a freelance developer, thanks Shopify, you changed my life. This is like real people that's out there, right? That's actually making it happen. They're creating applications and they're making enough money for them to be able to survive and, you know, live on their own become independent developers now again the same skills god forbid you'll be like oh i can't find my app my, my app is not working how it's supposed to or i'm not getting the traffic i'm supposed to i'm not getting the people signing up for my app etc my ideas are not great you have jobs <laughs> this is what i would say to everybody like the last resort is a job right but at the end of the day if that's something that you want to do and you want to take the safe route and say i just want to have a skill to get a job this is going to teach you all of that, right? As far as Shopify development, it's just going to make you a full stack developer, a solid full stack developer. So my advice is definitely learn it guys. Okay. Definitely learn it and, and get started, man. Again, at codingphase.com, we teach you all of this. We come in and we teach you everything about Shopify development, right? And again, we focus on the back. We have one goal and that goal is to put money in your pocket. One goal is that if you come in, if you're going to learn is to make money, we're not doing this as a hobby. This a line that we put in here. We don't teach coding as a hobby. We don't care about getting a million GitHub stars. We don't care about being popular online. We don't care about any of that. If we're not making money as developers, right? I don't even know why we're doing this. Okay. That's just how I feel, right? That's me. That's my persona. I like to make money. I 
you know, I connect money with success and I connect, you know, my hard work. I need to get compensated well. Okay. So if I'm going to spend a month, two months building an application, I need to get paid well. If I'm going to work full time for somebody, I need to get paid well because these skills are not easy to learn and you have to actually put in a lot of dedication and it takes a lot of work for us to get to the point that where we at right now. Okay. But again, and codingface.com, this is what we teach you. Shopify theme developer, Shopify app developer, right? Everything that we have right here, all the different career paths. You get access to all of this when you are a yearly plus member, or if you just want to learn how to code, you have access to every single programming course, except the ones with the fire emoji. So pretty much everything that you need to get a job, you get access to it for just 20 bucks. But the moment you start wanting to go in and, you know, specialize in different skills, you know, my advice is sign up for the yearly subscription and take advantage. All right. So anyways, guys, I'm going to stop right here. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Now, again, look, you have to come in. You have to get into this industry. You have to start learning things that you can actually get jobs with. You can actually make money independently with. Okay. This is a skill that's not going away. Shopify is not going away. Shopify is pretty much in competition with Amazon because the way how they are moving right now, they're getting up there. Okay. And not only that, that they've been around for over 10 years. This is the company that's not going to go away. They got over 6,000 employees. It's a huge company. All right. So definitely stay with it. Okay. Go check out the links below and check out the next videos that we're going to put in in the course. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye.